It's one thing for an entrepreneur to become rich or powerful, but only a few of them have actually really changed the world we live in. Author John A. Byrne identifies these people in his new book, World Changers, 25 Entrepreneurs Who Changed Business As We Know It. John, good morning. Good morning. So what's the criteria? How does somebody change the world? Well, number one, it's impact. You know, it's people who've really changed the way we think about the world or live in the world or have fun in the world. It's people like Steve Jobs, who've changed our relationship to technology. Howard Schultz, who's made, you know, uh, coffee a sort of European staple in America and around the world. Uh, John Mackey of Whole Foods, who's, who's taught us the value of health, eating healthy and having organic food. It's really changed the way we is think it, is about it. Is food. it by accident or design, or can it be both? I think it tends to be by accident. I don't think mm -hmm. anyone really starts a business and has an idea uh, to change the world entirely. And those who contend that they do, I think, are full of it. It seems like a common thread, although these are very different businesses, very different people, but almost all of them have overcome adversity and setbacks. Is that the common thread that you... That, that is an amazing attribute of these exceptional people. You know, Ted Turner was 24 years of age when his father crawled into a bathtub and shot himself dead. Mm -hmm. Oprah Winfrey was 13 when she began to be sexually abused. Obviously, Steve Jobs is abandoned by his own parents, and one after the other, you see this incredible tragedy, and then you see them overcome this by the singular focus on an idea and a business. Do you get the idea that they achieve this in spite of the adversity or because of the adversity? I think a little bit of both. I, I, I think, you know, the adversity to bury it, to hide it, to escape from it, you put all of your focus and all of your energy into an idea and just pursue it completely. And I think that's what happens to a lot of these people. But there's no one mold for what makes the, this, this world-changing leader, though, because we, we know how different Steve Jobs and Bill Gates are. Indeed. You know, there are, there are, some, there are some characteristics or DNA. Ernst & Young, uh, which identifies the entrepreneur of the year, has identified three common traits. You have to have an opportunistic mindset. You have to have a, an ability to accept failure and assume risk. And, 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 and third, you, you actually want a sense of independence and control because many of these people could never work for anyone else. You also they're stubborn. <laughs> yeah. Very, very stubborn. Yeah. Might be why they're world changers. Totally. Yeah. You spent a bit of time talking about Howard Schultz with Starbucks. Yes. How do you account for his success after he came back to the company? Well, that's sort of an interesting thing because three of the 25 have had a second coming, right? Steve Jobs was basically thrown out of his company, came back and rescued it. Yeah. Howard Schultz uh, left his operating role as CEO, came back and rescued it. Uh, Michael Dell is in the process of doing the same thing. You know, to these people, their, their companies are their babies, and when their babies are under distress, they want to come back and they want to do everything they possibly can to turn it around. What about some of the entrepreneurs that's, that maybe seem to have created some of that distress themselves, like Reed Hoffman <laughs> at, at Netflix, who has had some well-documented problems recently, and now, I mean, he has to try to get things back on track, right? Yes, and you know, what you find is that this is a long haul. This is not instant gratification. In fact, what great entrepreneurship is, is all about deferred gratification and great sacrifice. And every great entrepreneur has overcome huge adversity. John Byrne, thanks very much.